Imagine this, it's a scorching summer day and you step into your car, turning on the AC for that blast of cool air. It feels like magic, doesn't it? But have you ever wondered how your car's air conditioning system actually works? What are the components that make it possible to transform the hot air outside into a cool, refreshing breeze inside? In today's video, I'll take you on a step-by-step -step journey through how your car's AC system works, explain the key components involved, and show you why understanding this system can help you maintain it and save money on repairs. By the end, you'll never take your AC for granted again. Let's dive in. The Basics of Car Air Conditioning Let's start with the basics. Your car's air conditioning system doesn't actually create cold air. Instead, it works by removing heat and humidity from the air inside your car, making it feel cooler. It's a bit like how your refrigerator keeps things cold, it doesn't generate cold air but instead removes heat from the space inside. This process relies on a closed loop system that circulates a special chemical called refrigerant. The refrigerant has a unique ability to change between liquid and gas states as it absorbs and releases heat. The AC system uses this property to transfer heat from inside the car to the outside environment. The result? A cabin that feels cool and comfortable, even on the hottest days the role of the compressor. First up is the compressor, often called the heart of the AC system. Its job is to pressurize the refrigerant and pump it through the system, ensuring it reaches every component efficiently. The compressor is powered by the engine through a belt, and it has a clutch that engages when you turn on the AC. When refrigerant enters the compressor, it's in a low-pressure gas form. The compressor pressurizes it, increasing its temperature and turning it into a high-pressure, high-temperature gas. This step is crucial because the refrigerant needs to be in a high-pressure state for the heat exchange process to work effectively. Without the compressor, the entire cooling cycle would come to a halt. The condenser's cooling magic. Next in line is the condenser, which is like the radiator for your AC system. Located at the front of your car, near the grill, the condenser plays a vital role in cooling down the high-pressure refrigerant gas that comes from the compressor. As the refrigerant flows through the condenser, it passes through a network of thin tubes surrounded by metal fins. These fins help dissipate heat by increasing the surface area for air to pass over. A fan further aids this process by drawing cooler air through the condenser. By the time the refrigerant leaves the condenser, it has released most of its heat to the outside air and transformed into a high-pressure liquid. This cooling step is what sets the stage for the air inside your car to feel refreshing and cool. The Expansion Valve or Orifice Tube Now comes the Expansion Valve or Orifice Tube, depending on your car's design. This small but essential component regulates the flow of refrigerant into the next stage of the process. Think of it like a gateway that carefully controls how much refrigerant enters the evaporator. When the high-pressure liquid refrigerant passes through the expansion valve, it's forced through a tiny opening. This causes the refrigerant to expand rapidly, dropping its pressure and temperature. This is a critical step because the refrigerant needs to be extremely cold to absorb heat from inside the car. At this stage, the refrigerant is transformed into a cold, low-pressure liquid, ready to do its job in the evaporator. The evaporator's role in cooling the air. Now we get to the part you feel directly the evaporator. Located inside the dashboard, the evaporator is where the magic of cooling happens. As the refrigerant flows through the evaporator, it absorbs heat and moisture from the air inside the cabin. The evaporator consists of coiled tubes surrounded by fins. A blower fan pushes warm cabin air over these cold coils, allowing the refrigerant to absorb heat from the air. As a result, the air that flows back into the cabin is much cooler and dehumidifier. Meanwhile, the refrigerant changes back into a gas as it absorbs heat, completing this stage of the process. This continuous cycle is what keeps you comfortable no matter how hot it is outside. The importance of the receiver dryer or accumulator. Depending on your car's AC system, you'll have either a receiver driver or an accumulator. These components play a vital role in keeping the refrigerant clean and dry. Moisture in the system can freeze and create blockages, while debris can damage sensitive components like the compressor. The receiver dryer is typically used in systems with an expansion valve, while the accumulator is found in systems with an orifice tube. Both components act as filters, 
ensuring that only clean, dry refrigerant circulates through the system. Without these safeguards, your AC system would be much more prone to failure. Common issues and maintenance tips. Now that you understand how your car's AC system works, let's look at some common problems and how to prevent them. Refrigerant leaks if your AC isn't blowing cold air, the refrigerant level may be low due to a leak. Get it checked and repaired promptly to avoid further damage. Dirty condenser or evaporator dust and debris can block airflow, reducing the system's efficiency. Regular cleaning is a must. Worn compressor a failing compressor can lead to a complete system breakdown. Regular maintenance can catch issues early. Blocked expansion valve if the valve isn't working correctly, it can disrupt refrigerant flow, resulting in uneven cooling. Why regular maintenance matters. Your car as a C system is a complex machine, and like any machine, it needs regular care to perform at its best. Schedule annual inspections to ensure all components are working properly. Replace the cabin air filter as recommended. And make sure refrigerant levels are topped off. These small steps can save you from costly repairs and ensure your AC system keeps you cool year after year. The car air conditioning might seem like a simple luxury, but it's actually a marvel of engineering that works tirelessly to keep you cool and comfortable. By knowing how the system works and maintaining it regularly, you can enjoy reliable performance and avoid unexpected breakdowns. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who wants to learn more about their car. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.